Hey everybody, Jake here with the Brave and the Boys, and today we are recreating my original solo video. Luckily, however, this is not a solo video. We have Jordan manning the camera and the massive gimbal, so hopefully this looks a little bit better. And I just wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons. The first reason is I've actually made friends with a lot of you on the online internet comic book community, and some of you have told me, I would love to start a YouTube channel someday. And I asked them kind of, what are some of the roadblocks? A lot of the people tell me that one of the roadblocks stopping them is they don't have a lot of books. And I wanted to show you kind of what my collection is after this year of collecting, how much it's grown since the last video. But I want to show you that in comparison to some YouTubers, I have nothing. So just start with whatever amount of books you have, start with whatever equipment you have, and just make each video a little bit better. And that's what we did. We went from shooting on our phones with no microphones to getting a more professional setup, getting better at editing, and each video we just try to do a little bit better. So this video is just to show you guys how much the collection has grown this year and how much we've grown as filmmakers and YouTubers. So before we get started, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that like button, ring the bell for notifications. We have merch, we have a Discord, and I wanna give a shout out to our sponsor, Organic Price Books. There, if you're buying one to three books, you can save two dollars with the code brave boys or if you're buying four or more you can save five percent with the code brave boys sit so let's dive into this 2023 room collection tour deep within a bleak and dismal swamp hidden beneath its murky waters lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time the legion of doom and i know most of you like dc so we can skip the marvel psych we're doing marvel first okay so starting off my collecting style is chronological, sorry, alphabetical and chronological. So we start with the C's, Captain America, and this was really fun. I was able to collect all of the Ed Brubaker Captain Americas this year. I remember originally when I started collecting Marvel this year, I only had these three. I wanted to buy the four and five and I was like told, just wait, the, uh, Marvel will reprint them someday and they reprinted. Cosmic Ghost Rider, I got on an incredible sale. Never read it, looks really cool though. Then we got Daredevil. Daredevil is my favorite Marvel superhero, vigilante, whatever you want to call him. And I do have them in chronological order. So I have the Frank Miller, the Companion. Then I have, I want to get the Marvel Knight someday, but that has not been in print. Then we have the bane of my collecting existence, this horrible mismatched spine. So I do want to get that fixed. And there's a little bit of a gap here. I kept the gap because Mark Wade Volume 2 is coming out soon. Then we have the Charles Soul. I do try to keep just oversized in these calyxes, but you might see a couple little switches. Um, Miracle Man was actually the first Marvel Omni I read this year. You'll see a couple of these if you want to watch my top Marvel Omnis of the year. I'll link that here. Savage Avengers, I would like bought that because of the hype, and then I started it and I could not get past the first issue. So I do need to read that again. Then down here we have Secret Warriors, and you'll see the rest of the Hickman in chronological order. As you can see, one of the banes of my collecting editions fixed. So these are custom done by a friend of the channels. Then we have Silver Surfer, which was my favorite Marvel read of the year. Then we're going to go into chronological Star Wars. This will always be Knights of the Old Republic to me. If you want to see thoughts on some of my favorite Star Wars Omnis, we'll link that video here. Then we have Thor 1 and 2. This is probably my, one of the, the next reads I'm going to do. I'm super excited for. Then I have the three Thunderbolts. So I've actually never read any Thunderbolts, but it sounds really cool and I wanted to read it before the movie came out. The Ultimates was recommended to me by Omnidog. So then we have the Spider-Man section. Ultimate Spider-Man being the first and only Spider-Man Omni I've ever read. But honestly, Ultimate Spider-Man is like amazing. I can't wait to get the rest. I should leave more gaps, but I'm not very smart. And then you will get some Spider-Man 2099, Superior Spider-Man, Spider-Man vs. Venom, Venom 1 and Venom by Cates. Then this right here is just a little Venom Funko Pop that I'm using there to, you know, save some space. Then we have the four Wolverine Omnis. And I do not like how these spines look. So, you know, Marvel Zombies 1. I bought Marvel Zombies Returns and then all my friends told me it sucks and I realized I shouldn't spend the money on it, but Jordan wanted to complete it because he's a big Marvel Zombies fan, so he did take that off my hands. Now, this isn't Marvel, but you'll see Usagi. So I remember when I bought this, I said this would be all the Usagi I needed, the special edition, and then I got a good deal on this one, and then I realized how expensive it was going to be. 
And what's cool about this one, if you guys don't know, is this was the limited edition signed by Stan Sakai stuff. So this is number 541. Um, it would have been thousands of dollars to collect the rest of them. So I was not able to do that, but I was able to get the wife approved on the rest of the Usagis and Compendium. I still need nine and I think legends. Then we have Ice Cream Man's one and two. So I'm really excited to dig into this one. These sagas were given to me by a dear friend. And lastly, over here, we have the Calvin and Hobbes, which you can see on my top five comic book challenge. So now let's go do the DC section. So before we go to the DC section, I'll show you some of the little collectibles that I have. We got really into Legos last year. And you know why we don't do Legos anymore? You know what changed from last year to this year? We got not one, not two, but three cats. And let me tell you, cats and Legos do not mix. So we don't really do Legos anymore. Here is one of the pride and joys of my collection though. This is the Sandman Masterpiece Morpheus Helm set which I got an amazing deal on by my friends at OPB. You can see over here, got lots of other Star Wars Legos. I got my Batman statue, Batman the Animated Series. And then this is my section of books that don't fit into a calyx. So I got the complete Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck. I got baited into it because I wanted to get it before they censored it. Not trying to start that debate though. Then we have Parker's one and two. So I am very excited to read that. I mean, it's Darwin Cook and it's awesome. Then we have Grass Cutters, which I should be sending Josh someday. And then the InCal, which I got on a Whatnot stream for like $24, which was an incredible steal. And then some various Funko Pops and Legos and all that stuff. But let's get into what you're all here for, the absolute section. So let's look at the absolutes. So again, you're gonna notice I have them chronologically and alphabetical, so I have Absolute Authority 1 and 2. I've only read the Warren Ellis one, and I don't know if it was just because I had just read like four amazing comics. Wasn't my favorite. I know that might be crazy to say, but according to Omnidog, he's like, you got to read this obscure trade paperback where the original Authority Stormwatch team gets killed by the aliens, but I don't know where I'm supposed to find that trade paperback. Then we got the Batman section, so I start off with Absolute Batman Year One. Love that it comes with both coloring. The Killing Joke. Some of the pride and joys of my collection, I have The Long Halloween, Dark Victory, Haunted Night. We got Hush, some various other ones. Black Mirror is one that I'm very excited to have. And then we get into C for Crisis. So then I have all the crises that I could in chronological order. So Crisis, Infinite, Multiversity, Final Crisis, Flashpoint, Death Metal, sorry, Dark Knight's Metal and Death Metal. Then we have Day Tripper, which was one of my favorite reads of the year. And then we have Fourth World. So I did have the Omni but I did sell that to Jordan and get the absolutes. Then we have this one. I got Green Lantern, Green Arrow for like 10 bucks on like a pricing glitch. I actually bought two copies, one for me and one for Jordan. And then this, this was a really special one. So this is the absolute or not an absolute if you wanna roast me in the comments down below, Avengers JLA. And this was given to me as a gift from my wife uh, as a reward for hitting a one year of sobriety. So that was awesome. Then we have Justice League Origins, and then we have this one right here. So this is pretty cool if you guys haven't seen this one. It is a magazine size, Absolute. It's coming back into print next year. Absolute Justice, and for those of you that know my story of Absolute Justice, I did finally pass on the horrible edition to Bunk, and I think he's fixing it. New Frontier is probably my most reread Absolute, so I read this one about every year, maybe even twice a year. And then, the Absolute Preachers, which I was finally able to collect this year, so I'm super excited about that. And then I have the Planetary Omnibus, but I did sell that to Jordan. I think we trade books for it. Then we have all the Sandmans, so this was probably the first Absolutes that I collected. Again, I had the Superman, Batman, Omni 1 and 2, but I did sell that to someone in the Near Mint Discord and go with the Absolutes. All-Star Superman, Superman for all seasons. This one was kind of an interesting one. I didn't realize that there was actually four Swamp Thing Absolutes. So I had these three ones and then I was doing a chat with Fire Guy Ryan and I saw that there was a fourth one. So I had to get that. Then we have V for Vendetta, Watchmen and Doomsday Clock. Oh, I'm already getting winded. I don't think I've ever done a video this long before. So now we're going on to the last of the absolutes. I was able to get absolute Why the Last Man one, two and three. And I think two is out of print from JP of OPB. So that was very nice of him to send those my way. Then we go to the DC Omni section. So we got the Animal Mans, 
Now, what's cool about Animal Man is somewhere in this collection here, I actually have an original run of the Grant Morrison Animal Man, so I'm excited to have that. And then you gotta go year one, year two, which we all love. And I finally did remove the Ollie sticker, so, you know, m moving on up in the world. We have the Batman. I, I told myself maybe I would sell this or do a giveaway because I have the absolutes, but I, I just can't quit Batman. Got all the Nightfalls, No Man's Land, and then these, these were given to me by a dear friend of the channel, Super Laugh Hard. He's, I think he's helped all of USA comic book YouTube get these books. So that was very kind of him. The Hush Saga. And yes, I do have the Hush Saga, the Paul Dini, and the Hush Absolute. So I, I don't make smart choices. And then we have the Grant Morrison Batmans, Batman and Robin, Scott Snyder. I finally got Batman Eternal, which was my white whale for a really long time, which means I can finally read that and the Eternal Batman and Robin Eternal Omnibus. This right here is my favorite Bat Family Batman book. And honestly, like I, I collected this in single issues. I collected it in trade paperbacks. I collected the deluxes and I got the Omni. So I love that Batman run. And then this is a really special one to me. So this is the Tom King Batman run. And I was able to get it signed by both Mitch and Tom King. So when the Omni comes out, will I be picking it up? Probably. If you want to see uh, some of my favorite Batman Omnis, we did a video this year on it. I'll link that here. And then we got Batman Adventure. So this one was actually like supposed to be delivered to me and then it never showed up. And then some lady came and knocked on our door and was like, hey, I found this in front of my house. Crazy for Watchmen. Over here in this bookshelf, you'll see my non-deluxe, non-oversized DC. So starting off, we got some Batman trade paperbacks, which I think are out of print. So the Cape Crusader finally got second chances. That one was fun because my wife was in Vegas with her sisters buying a bunch of stuff. So I was gonna buy some out of print books. That's how, how it works, right? And then some DC Crisis books. And down below, we got various compendiums. You're gonna see there's not really a lot of organization down below here. This is when it's kind of a chaotic madhouse. You got compendiums, you got DC standard size hardcovers, you got single issues. I, I don't know what to say. If you guys wanna, please just roast me in the comments down below and help me fix them. You'll see some other various signed books. So again, we got Supergirl. Woman of Tomorrow, signed by Tom King. Bang, The Ballad of the Tiger by Josh Greathouse. I think this one's signed and remarked. Look at that, you can't beat that. And then let's see, we got various single issues. I wonder what we have here. We got some Animal Mans. So these were given, not given to me. These, I went to some random guy's house that I met at Best Buy, this old guy who said he was into comics and I bought them from him and I didn't get murdered. We got some stuff sent to me by Fire Guy Ryan and some stuff I bought for my wife because Something is Killing the Children was her first comic book series. Oh, right here. My wife is a huge Disney fan, so I bought her some of these Disney 100 covers. Honestly, if you guys are interested in single issue stuff, I have long boxes at my parents' house that we could pick up. And we could just do a video where I just see what I have because I don't even know what I still own. Down here, you'll see more Sandman editions, the Superman by Man of Steel stuff, which some of my Superman stuff is all mixed up. We're currently in the process of researching a Superman video. We got One Woman Dead Earth, which I stole from Jordan, and I don't think I'm ever giving back. And let's go down to the rest of the DC books. So this one's pretty legendary. As you can see, this is the third time you've seen this book on this uh, tour. And that was probably my like biggest TikTok ever where my, 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 she was my girlfriend at the time. She's my wife now. Another thing that's changed this year <laughs> where she's like, why did you buy that book? I had to get it because I wanted to put all my crisis books together. And I couldn't obviously put the absolute with the other ones. So, you know, had to triple dip. And then we got the Scott Snyder Justice Leagues, which were really fun. The Batman Who Laughs, which yes, I am finally down to one copy. At one point, I had like seven copies of that book. And then we got the Grant Morrison Doom Patrol run. 
Um, I do, I am missing one of the Doom Patrol Omnis. I do need to get that. We got Flash, a lot of Flash Omnis. So I'm excited for the Rebirth run. I'm excited for the Grant Morrison Deluxe. I mean, you know, there's just so many Flash books, but I feel like they need to complete some Flash runs. Then we got Green Arrow and we have the Grain Lantern section. So a lot of people, I feel like put these books in different orders, but this is the order that I found. You start with volume one of Jeff Johns, then you go with the Peter Tomasi volume one, then you go with volume two, Blackest Night, Brightest Day, then volume three. But honestly, tell me down below how you guys collect your Green Lanterns or store your Green Lanterns. Got some other ones. I hate that my only Nightwing Omni is Grayson. I want a Nightwing Omni with Nightwing. So if anyone's got a lead on Prince of Gotham, hit me up. And then we got some Harley Quinn books that the un stop that the unstoppable bar bullied me into and justice one and two jla jsa you would have seen justice league international but i sold my justice league internationals to illuminati because i heard volume three was never going to come out and a week after i sold them volume three was solicited so yeah that was not my smartest moment then down below we got the justice league new 52 run and the Justice League Dark New 52 run. I should have left a space for the Rebirth Justice League Dark, which I actually also owned in single issues. Then we have Dead Boy Detective, Books of Magic, and Lucifer. I know it's crazy, but I wish the Sandman <laughs> Omnis were next to it. Then we got Hellblazer, Phantom Stranger, Promethea. Yes, I would love the Absolutes, but I have never found a even sort of okay deal on them. And then we got The Question. Again, I should have leave a gap for Volume 2. And then all the Superman books are in a really weird order because we're currently doing a lot of research on them. And I am like just binging book to book to book. So that's why you'll see some non-Omnis there. And then you'll see I'm back down to just one copy of Super Sons, the Super Duper Edition. So at one point I did have two copies. And the Invincible, I have all three hardcover compendiums, so that was something fun I collected this year. I did have the softcover compendiums at the last video, but I did sell them for the hardcover ones. And now I'm getting that bug itching me to get the library editions, but I don't know what I'll do there. Now we're going to go into the indie section. We have Klaus, which I just did a video on with Bunk. Mini Deaths of Layla Star, 8 Billion Genies, which was phenomenal. Volume 1 of Something is Killing the Children. I should have leave space for Volume 2. We've got a lot of Rick Reminder books. So Deadly Class. I'll try to leave space for Fear Agent. Tokyo Ghost. Low. The rest of them. Okay, this is kind of fun. You guys can see here. Volume 2 is out of the shrink wrap. Volume 1 is in. I read Volume 2 thinking it was Volume 1. So... I have a prequel to look forward to, which is wild. And guys, that's gonna bring this video to a close. I wanna say thank you so much for the love and support you've shown this channel, you've shown Jordan and I, whether it was in the Discord or the Facebook. And I just wanna give you guys a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. This has been one of the funnest years of my life. This was the year I got married, I got kitties, I made friends with a lot of you. I got two extra bookshelves with a lot more books. So go ahead and smash that like button, like, comment, and subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And one last time, if you want to keep seeing videos like this and keep seeing the collection grow, you can use our sponsor, Organic Price Books. There, if you're buying one to three books, you can save $2 with the code BRAVEBOYS. Or if you're buying four more, you can save 5% with the code BRAVEBOYS. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season, an awesome Christmas, or whatever holiday your family celebrates. Have an awesome new year. I'll see you next year. Keep reading and stay brave.